WABC Music Time, 24 after 11. But the few other jingles that were used came in a Thunder Productions Memphis, Tennessee box, even though all the work had been done in Dallas. George Michael, WABC Radio, ABC. W-A-B-C. Top 100 of 1974. The idea worked in the latter half of 1974. Thunder Productions was able to get jingles on WABC and WLS, and other stations across the country did buy those packages. But it didn't take too long for Tanner to conclude that the expense of renting a Dallas studio, paying Chris to write and produce, paying me or others to engineer, and paying the singers made the Dallas venture cost prohibitive. They gave up on Thunder in 1975. The master tapes were sent back to Memphis, and they continued to syndicate those jingles under the Tanner name, using the Memphis singers in their own studio. So where would WABC turn now? Well, there was a new company called Jam. We'll talk about that in the next segment. John Wolfer. This show and this WABC Jingle History special originates from the studios of Jam Creative Productions. Jam is the jingle company that I founded along with my wife and partner, Mary Lynn. The letters J-A-M stand for John and Mary Lynn. We had begun doing our own small projects on the side for DJs and stations in 1974 and decided to incorporate and do it full-time in November 1974. We had a lot of early success and some good word-of-mouth advertising that got us on some significant stations, and it was less than a year later that we got a call from WABC. Here's Mary Lynn's recollection of that day. Usually on Friday afternoons, the calls would slack off, people were leaving for the weekend or whatever, and you wouldn't get very many calls. One Friday afternoon around 5.30, the phone rang, and I answered it, Jam Productions, and the person on the other end said, hello, this is Rick Sklar, and uh, I'm interested in hearing some of your demo tapes. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, right, who is this really? We had so many crazy friends in radio and in the jingle business, I was sure it was one of them pulling a joke on us. I'd never talked to Rick before, and in my mind... I thought his voice would sound more like an announcer. So I didn't think it was really Rick, but in the off chance that it might be him, I was polite and put him on hold and got John to take the call. That was a good move. I knew Rick from my many visits to WABC, and of course he knew I had been at PAMS, So when we first began Jam, I sent him a few of our earliest tapes just to kind of show him what we were up to. I never really expected to hear back from him. But in this phone call, he told me he had a need for certain things and he was having a hard time finding somebody to produce it. And he knew that I was a fan of the station and knew what he liked through the years and so forth. So he said, would you like to try and do these few things and we'll see how it goes and so forth. And I thought to myself, I should probably say, "Uh, yeah, we're so busy, we'll try to work you in. But of course I didn't. (laughs) And we did produce some of the jingles that Rick asked for in that phone call. Music Radio, WABC. One of the reasons they wanted new jingles at this time was that they had begun to call the station ABC without the W. Research had told them that's what most listeners called the station. For instance, someone might say, yeah, I heard that song on ABC. So the first jam project for WABC consisted of just a few jingles and a few acapellas, mostly without a W. 77 ABC, the best music ABC, ABC. W or not, the first night the jam jingles were on the air was October 3rd, 1975, and it was a momentous occasion for all of us. A few days later, I received a recording, an air check of it. The tape was recorded by my friend Randy Bell, who was then and still is an important part of jam. 
He recorded it in Indiana, about 850 miles from New York. And in the tape box was a handwritten note from Randy that just said, WABC New York, all you need to know to win. I still have that note. The idea of dropping the W didn't last long because ABC corporate didn't like the possibility of the local radio station being confused with the radio or TV network. It's a uh, minute past two o'clock at ABC. We got music for you. The OJ is going to start us off in the angry bands. So the W had to go back in, but they still wanted to emphasize the ABC. One way we did that was to go back and take that priority one jingle you heard where the synthesizer played the W melody and just Sonovox it to now say W. W. W-A-B-C. And that jingle was used by WABC for years. In fact, we even have a Clio award for it hanging on the wall. It still amuses me that something two and a half seconds long can win an award for anything, but it did. The best music, ABC. We did try using that same technique with some other jingles. WABC. But it was that Priority One cut that became famous. George Michael. WABC. By 1976, the Pam's jingles were gone, the thunder material was being phased out, and more jam jingles began to appear. W-A-B-C. That short little jingle from the logo set package is another one that seemed to be used for years. I'm George Michael, we're gonna take you to the Star Wars. Next, go on. W-A-B-C. Of course, 1976 was the bicentennial year, America's 200th birthday. Jam created custom music and jingles for the big 4th of July on-air celebration, which featured greetings from lots of celebrities. Hi, this is Karen Carpenter on WABC with a happy bicentennial birthday to everyone in the U.S. of A. with a toast to many, many more. Happy birthday, America, from WABC New York. In 1977, Rick Sklar had a new slogan in mind for the station, and we created several jingles around it. The best music on the best station, WABC. Best music, best station, WABC. In March of 77, Glenn Morgan became the operations and program director of WABC, as Rick Sklar was promoted to Vice President Programming for ABC's radio division. Hello, Glenn Morgan. Jam presents brand new jingles just for you. We worked with Glenn to supplement those best music on the best station jingles with more cuts, which became the jam package called Positron. The best music, WABC. The best music, W-A-B-C The best music, W-A-B-C Dan Ingram, W-A-B-C Harry Harrison starts New York's morning, W-A-B-C Shortly after we did those jingles, we were asked by the station to redo them with one important difference. They wanted to put more emphasis on the letter A, which they thought went by a little too quickly in the previous versions. Why did they want to do that? Because they were competing on the AM dial with WNBC. And the only letters that are different between those two sets of call letters are the A and the N. So both stations wanted to really emphasize the one letter that set them apart. So here are some of those Positron jingles again with a slightly longer A. The best music, W-A-B-C. 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 The best music, W
Best music, W-A-B-C. Since it was 1977, I never did understand why I couldn't sell them on the idea of doing some jingles that said, It's the year of 77, W-A-B-C. Seemed like a natural. But we did get to do this. W-A-B-C had a tradition of playing the year's top 100 songs during the week between Christmas and New Year's Day. But in 1977, they wanted to promote it as the top 77 instead. So several jingles were created just for that. W-A-B-C Top 77 Of 1977 W-A-B-C Top 77 Of the year The best music of 77 W-A-B-C those jingles were later made part of our Pro Mod and Class Action packages, which were released in 1978. In 1978, WABC really began to feel the competition from FM radio. In particular, WKTU, with their disco music format, attracted many listeners away from AM and WABC. In a controversial response, WABC began playing more disco records, and wanted a few jingles that would match that sound. Music radio. Music radio. W-A-B-C. 77. W-A-B-C. The best music. W-A-B-C. All along, we'd been updating the DJ jingles for the guys who'd been there since the beginning and the new jocks who joined along the way. But in early 1979, WABC added their first female DJ. Liz Kylie. Liz Kylie. WABC. What a way to come back to New York. WABC New York, the most listened to station in the nation. Hello, just about 10 o'clock. I'm Liz Kylie, so glad to be back in New York City. Let's bring it back with Cheryl Lynn. What you think? You blow it all sky. Liz Kylie. WABC. WABC Music Time, 10.38. Just going to settle back a little bit and hang on in there, baby. Johnny Bristol mm-hmm. on WABC. Hearing women on the air is commonplace now, but in 1979, it was a bit of a rarity. I remember when Glenn Morgan called to order the jingle for Liz. He said, it's time. He was right. And we'll have time for the last installment of our WABC Jingle History coming up. John Wolford, Greenwell Radio. During the last few years of the music radio era, WABC used part of the ProMod package, which we had originally made for WLS Chicago. Music Radio, WABC. The best music. Jam also made some other custom jingles for WABC. Music Radio, WABC. But the station was undergoing a change. In order to survive, AM radio was forced to become more adult, more full service. They added talk programs in the evening. They carried the Yankees baseball games. In 1981, Jay Clark was the program director, and he wanted a different sound for the jingles. A little bit of funk, a little bit of New York jazz, and a different vocal sound. He wanted to appeal to New York's style-conscious listeners, so Jam created a large custom package called You'll Like Our Style. W-A-B-C There were shortcuts. 77 W-A-B-C There were long cuts. It's a day for just relaxing, a day for sleeping late. When friends get together, having fun and feeling great. It's a three-day weekend, just made for you and me. Enjoy 
And for the first time, there was a 30 second image song. WABC. Listen to New York. There's excitement in the air. Listen to New York. You can hear it everywhere. There's a certain style that's all your own. That's the way it ought to be. We're New York style at 77. W-A-B-C 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 didn't want to leave anyone out, so we sang this jingle for 42 different towns and counties. Manhattan, we like your style 77 W-A-B-C Naturally, the station wanted to relate to people listening in their cars. So we sang this jingle a dozen times, each one mentioning a different highway, bridge, or tunnel. If you're stuck on the West Side Highway, or wherever you happen to be, just relax and stick with us, 77 WABC. The morning show was now being handled by the team of Ross Britton and Brian Wilson. Good morning. Ross and Wilson are here to start your day With weather, time, and traffic A better song to play Join Ross and Wilson For a New York-style good morning On 77 WABC Dan Ingram, who had moved to the morning show for a short time starting in 1979, was back in the afternoon. There was, of course a new theme for him as well. Oh, listen, for all you jingle freaks out there on WABC, New York's radio station, uh, we realize that uh, there are people who listen to our jingle freaks. As a matter of fact, uh, the biggest jingle freak in the world is a very dear friend of mine, John Wolford, who has uh, branched into the jingle making business now. He's turned it all the way around, he's at the other end, and he has supplied new jingles here. The station has, I assume, purchased them for a pittance just because, you know, it's nice to have us have the jingles. But anyway, uh, John has uh, Jam Productions, and this is my new opening jingle, which just came in today. So I'm going to just play it and listen to it, just like you. And if you're a jingle freak, it gives you an excellent chance to tape it. Ha-ha, and add it to your collection without the untoward words of Mr. Ingram over the jingle. So let's listen. W-A-B-C's Dan Ingram Program. Of course, as usual, they mispronounce my name. Everybody says Ingram, and I've gotten to the point where I say it, too. It's Ingram, but that's all right. Uh, thank you, John Wolfers, and all the folks at Jam, and Pretty Pat, and all the people down there. That's a very nice thing. We're going to use that from now on. Only starting tomorrow, I'll be talking over it. They won't have to listen to all that jazz. All right. <laughs> How you doing today? It's Thursday in New York on WABC. we got some Betty Davis eyes down for it. A couple minutes past three right now. You'll Like Our Style was the last jingle package that was made for Music Radio WABC. At high noon on May 10th, 1982, the station made the switch from music to talk radio. I had sent some of WABC's best-known jingles to the station just to make sure that they'd have them to play during the final days and moments, which they did. 77 WABC, 10 minutes. This thing sounds great even after all these years. 10 minutes before 8 o'clock. Peter Bush here at the tail end of the weekend on 77 WABC. Thank you so much for all your calls. It's just super hearing from so many people that have been been uh, WABC fans for so long. When I sent the old jingles to the station, I included a suggestion that the last sound to be heard really should be the WABC chime. 
They took my suggestion. The final show was co-hosted by the two veteran DJs who had been there the longest, Ron Lundy and Dan Ingram. It was sad to hear that final show then, and it's still sad to listen to it now, but the history wouldn't be complete without it, so I'm just going to let the final moments play now, unedited, except for the job. Well, how about that? That was about 36 minutes and 21 seconds of Music Radio WABC Remembrance. That's the best montage I've ever heard in my life. Well, we got a lot of people to thank for it. The engineers were George Thomas Musgrave the Third. George Thomas? Uh, yes, I didn't know that. Well, it was written right here. You on your last day here. Mike Marmon and uh, Al Rosen, courtesy of WLS in Chicago. Technical support and coordination. coordination. I can't even read. Sure you can, Steve yeah. Goldstein, Sue Lee, Kathy Wineflash, James McGuire. Producers were Tommy Edwards, courtesy of WLS in Chicago. George Thomas Musgrave III gets credit again as a producer, and Mike Mamone does. The executive producer, James Golden, who was here until 7.30 this morning, Bless putting that together. Yeah. And special thanks to Jonathan Wolfert, who is the president of Jam Creative Productions Incorporated for creating over the years and providing WABC Radio with a special package of jingles that were used in the presentation. Well, we got a couple of minutes left, Ryan. It's come down to this, hasn't it? It's uh, uh, but, uh, about a minute and a half. This is the beginning, Dan. I mean, it is you know, the beginning. It's the, uh, it's the beginning for you and uh, for Rick and me, and it's the beginning for Al and uh, for Jay and everybody here with uh, Talk Radio. So this is the beginning. This isn't the end. Okay. And I that's the way I like to look at it. That's the way I've always thought about it. Oh, I do want to remind you, I want to thank uh, all the folks at uh, LaSalle ice cream, uh, especially the president, uh, Mr. Steve uh, Kissel, for the uh, presenting this show for Dan Ingram and Ron Lundy. Our last WABC show. Sounds like uh, a movie, doesn't it? The last picture show or something? <laughs> I had a good time today. I love you. Thank you so much for everything. I love you too, Ron. My best friend in the whole world. It's uh it's been a lot of uh, a lot of records over the turntables to make a very bad uh, <laughs> simile. Uh, there is one thing that I want to say that will be probably the last time that I, matter of fact, it will be the last time I will ever be able to say this on WABC. And the last thing I'm going to say is, this is WABC New York. I can't say that anymore, can I? But. It's been a ball for almost 21 years for me, 17 years for you, Ryan, for almost 22 years of the programming that's been on the station all this time. And we'd like to play just a couple of things to nail it down. Let's have that. The talk radio format then began with a 60-second jingle from Jam. So don't be sad. Life goes on and jingles continue to be used. But never again would there be a radio station approaching the dominance and influence that 77 WABC had at the height of its music days. It was my good fortune to have the sound of WABC be part of my life, and it was a privilege to be a small part of it. Thanks for reliving its jingle history with me. WABC. WABC. All the best jingles all the time. The proceeding is protected under copyright by Pam's Productions Incorporated and Jam Creative Productions Incorporated, Dallas.